unboxing special. I guess you can call it the night of the ice storm or the day after the ice storm. Let's put my phone in my pocket. I just got a call from my UPS driver stating that he can't make it up my driveway. It's too icy. And I'm like, yep, figured as much. So he's just going to leave him at the base of the driveway. And I brought my quad up to the door here before. I should probably take the key to that. We're going to go down and get packages. Come on, get in. <sighs> quad keys are jokes. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, I'm going to zip up. Give me a second. So let's go ride my quad down in the ice. Because it ain't snow. It's two inches of pure fucking ice. Oh, my Sportsman 850 high, high lifter. It's a nice day at least. I mean, just nice as nice can get. Bye, Amazon man. I see the steering doesn't work because it's ice. And these are mud tires. So I'm gonna to attempt to go down on the left side so I don't crash into the fence. Dan's got a much nicer rack in the front and back, and I have just have this. I grabbed these out of my taco. So. It says it was leaving two packages. Those are for a US UPS pickup. He said he had two packages. Why is there only one? Alright, well, you know what's in this? I'll give you a clue. It's actually going on the back of the quad. This should be the salt spreader for the ice. The world is a, is a vampire. That should go there. It goes there. Probably won't go anywhere. Probably won't go anywhere. That's the, the most last words you've ever said, ever. That probably won't go anywhere. There we go. Now it's like my own little UPS delivery truck. Now, as long as they come and pick up with that shit, we should be golden. She's sliding on ice. This is kind of cool. Just pure ice. Alright. Put that bitch in park. Take the key with us.
yeet or be yeeted. All right, put this in my pocket. I gotta figure out, I'm gonna have to figure out a better binding system for taking packages and shit. This works for now, but come not now, we're gonna need a better system. I guess there's two things in here. Yeah, I woke up this morning, I'm like, why am I cold? Oh, it's 16 degrees out. Which means nothing melted. Oh, fuck. Echo, kitchen 100. So, this is a, not a last minute purchase. But I, I literally didn't even dawn on me because I never salted my driveway last year. Um, the guy just came and plowed it, but he might have plowed it and salted it. This was just an exceptionally wet storm. We had like rain and snow and then freezing cold. <sighs> Still blinking red. Problem with the beeps is would, if it failed, it'd have to beep a long time. Doot, 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 doot. Man said he had two packages. I don't see two packages in here. In fact, I don't see a reason to have this box out anyway. Clean. What a Chewbacca hotel that would have been. Holy crap. Anyway, here is pasta. Rack mounted all purpose ATV spreader. Rack mounted. Oh fuck, it's always cheaper. Well, it's better than a tow behind. I was trying to get one that did the um uh the, the, the post mounted, like the inch and a quarter square for like a tow hitch. But that shit was like $270. And I literally was reading and there were too many terrible reviews or bad reviews or like shit's too long, just too short, shit broke. So can I drive the quad in here? I can actually drive the quad through any of these double doors. I don't know if the floors would like that. <sighs> Instructions. Okay. Okay, the problem is I don't have a rack, except for a plastic one. So this might be, also I know that there's no block like this is the thing that spins and throws the salt everywhere but it throws 360 degrees so you got to build your own thing but it was like 155 dollars i wasn't going to spend 300 and it was like 260 or 350 or they got big ones for the trucks at like three thousand dollars and i wasn't going to spend that to get something that needs to be like literally rebuilt here's your little motor motor the motor thing i think i I didn't buy the accessories, so we could extend it. Here's your plug, which looks plenty long. That's another thing. The, uh, the more expensive one that I was considering that hooked up to the ball hitch only had a four foot wire. Like what the fuck good is a four foot one of these? Like where, where are you putting it? The quad has a, an outlet. It's just in the front. So this has to go all the way to the back. So this one makes much more sense as far as just, I can actually hook this up probably today if I can get it mounted because, um, Here's a little bucket hat. It's got a bucket hat, so you can put things. I bought 500 pounds worth of salt. Spent $105 on, on salt. And we're gonna see how it goes. So we've got use. This is the only part that sort of sucks, is I don't see a way to do it. This is the actual open and close spreader thing. To actually open, like let things out. And I guess this is the remote control for it. So it doesn't go very far. So when it's on the back of the quad where I had the packages, it's gonna be difficile. Yeah, cause this is gonna, this rotates like this. Pulls this open and close. I can probably build a better system. But this is supposed to hold a hundred pounds. So now I just gotta build this. Oh God. I hope to Christ these aren't like super important parts. Is there no heart? There's no mounting hardware, is there? 
Oh, it's all in here. Okay. So did this open up and leak these parts? These three parts seem very specific, like they're for this. I don't see any... Oh, I guess it wouldn't be threaded. All right, well, I'll figure out where those go and try to get all this done. I don't know if I'm going to be salting the earth today. It's already quarter after four. Echo, when is the sunset? Sunset will be at 5.05 p.m. today. By the way, an Amazon package will be delivered today. Great. I think it was. Anyway, so yeah, that's my day. I'm building... Oh, maybe that's for this? To mount this onto this? Because that's where that goes. Anyway, so yeah, I'm... Um, Hopefully my ATV will have a plow and it'll have a fucking thing and it'll be the winter thing until it's the summertime and then I'll rip it apart and it'll be the fun drive around in the fucking fields thing. So now it's just a matter of dicking a boot and figuring out if I can even mount it. Here's your cotter pin, that's for that. But I ever mentioned that this surface is fucking terrible for like sorting out small parts. God, I hope the instructions are good. I'm gonna need them.